Y'all, Erica Badu is once again blasting Beyonce for copying her style. And this time, Bay actually responded through her reps, basically telling Erica to take several seats. But Queen Bay has more than just Erica to deal with, cause Azealia Banks is also on her neck, telling her that the white hunger has got to stop. Babes literally did an entire essay on Beyonce's white hunger. But first, let's break down the Badu drama. Okay, soon after Beyonce posted the exclusive vinyl cover for Cowboy Carter on Instagram, Erica Badu reposted the cover on her story with the caption, hmm. The cover depicts Beyonce smoking, wearing a sash that says Act 2 Beyonce, while wearing long beaded braids, and fans interpreted Erica's repost to be over Beyonce's hair, since she has also been known to wear similar braids. Basically, she was calling out Bay for biting her style again. Let's just say that the Beehive was not here for whatever Erica was trying to start, and one fan said, slammed her saying, I love Erica Badu, but this one-sided beef has to stop. Another person also added, Erica Badu is such a hater. Beyonce has worn braids since the beginning of her career. As long as that hairstyle has been in the black community and you feel that someone wants to copy you, sit down. If you're jealous, just say that. And a different fan said, what is Erica's problem with Beyonce? She shouted her out in a song and Erica been shady ever since. I'm so confused. Of course, there are people also saying that Erica did not invent braids and beads. And if we are talking about copying, then we should also bring people like Rick James, Patrice Russian, and Valerie Simpson in this chat. But there are those who are still defending Erica, saying that Erica brought the hairstyle back and that no one has been walking around with that hairstyle recently except Miss Badu. So according to them, yes, the look was copied from Miss Badu, period. Well, this is also not the first time Erica is putting Beyonce on blast for copying her style. Previously, Erica posted a photo of Beyonce Beyonce performing at her tour in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and captioned the photo of Bay's outfit, which featured a dramatic top hat. Hmm. She also posted a picture of herself wearing something similar and captioned her photo, I guess I'm everyone's stylist. Favorite chrome mirror hat. Then when Beyonce posted a couple of photos on the gram wearing the same hat, Erica commented, I'm flattered. And many people said that the comment had some negative energy attached to it. She also did a whole reel on her page about how the chrome hat is her favorite hat. At the time, Beyonce didn't directly address the hat comment, but during a concert just days later, she name-checked Badu while performing Break My Soul, the Queen's remix. Instead of singing the usual lyrics where Bay acknowledges Badu, Lizzo, Kelly Rowe, she changed it to Badu, 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 Badu. I'm personally not sure whether that was her throwing shade or showing admiration for Erica. Now, when Erica previously posted about Bay copying her, there were mixed reactions to her allegations, with her fans supporting her and saying that Erica has done the most with the over-the-top hats through the years. Whether she's on stage or on a red carpet, she has been known to sport a towering fascinator. But the beehive was on Erica's neck saying that Beyonce has been wearing those hats for years and that it was probably just metallic to match the Renaissance theme. Some people also pointed out that maybe Erica should be reminded that artists like Beyonce have numerous stylists who put such stuff together. And whenever things are similar or look in inspired, it rarely has anything to do with the artist directly. In addition, some people didn't even see the problem, even if Beyonce actually got her inspo from Erica, cause Erica is a legend. And according to them, she should have been proud that Bay was getting inspo from her. In fact, other people also pointed out how mean it was for Erica to be shading Beyonce, yet Bay has been shouting her out for being one of the greats. Basically, people are saying the same things now with Erica once again putting Beyonce on blast. And after seemingly getting a ton of heat for for accusing Bay of copying her again, Erica followed up her Instagram post with a tweet, bizarrely pleading with Jay-Z to stop Beyonce. She was like, to Jay-Z, say something, Jay. You gonna let this woman and these bees do this to me? But you know what? That didn't stop the beehive from going after Erica even more. In fact, even Beyonce's publicist, Yvette Noel Shore, was also like, not this time, Miss Badu. She slammed her on Instagram by posting a video featuring Bay wearing braids throughout her career, saying, she slayed now, then, always. Yvette literally posted a full-blown scrapbook of Bay wearing the braided hairstyle throughout her career, and some snaps even appear to be dated in her childhood. Okay, what a way to quietly say, look around, look around, haters on mute. But there are people who are still saying that they wouldn't put it past Beyonce to steal from Erica, cause are we also not talking about somebody who previously bragged about stealing from other artists? Nobody gonna want us to go 
to their shows, Frank. Why? Because we're going to take everything. Yeah, but everybody does that, though. No, everybody does. Yeah, you know? But we, but, it is we but we we go and meet everybody. <laughs> Say, hey, great show, and then still it. <laughs> In Erica's famous reaction, hmm. Anyway, like I said, Beyonce has more than just Erica to deal with, cause the way Azealia put her on blast for basically kissing white people's behinds, baby. Azealia already branded Beyonce a narcissist a couple of weeks ago when she announced that she was diving into the country music world. But that was nothing compared to what she told her after Beyonce posted about being the first black woman with the number one single on the Hot Country Songs chart. Though there was a lot of criticism in the comment section, nothing compared to Azalea calling out Beyonce say for reinforcing a false rhetoric that there is no country music. In one of the longest rants I've seen in a while, Azalea wrote, Sis, I live for white Yonsei Donatella Bianca Bardot down. But I'm kind of ashamed at how you switch from baobab trees and black parade to this literal pick me stuff. There was so much pertinent cultural commentary to be made here. I don't get why you have to be in white woman cosplay to make facsimile country music. Then she continued and added, There could have been a humor to it which would bestow upon you even a smile vision of personality to make you an interesting person again. But you're reinforcing the false rhetoric that country music is a post-Civil War white art form, and subsequently reinforcing the idea that there is no segregation, slavery, theft, massacres, plagues, manifest destiny craziness that form the bedrock of epithets like proud to be an American or God bless the USA. Girl. Azealia also blasted Beyonce for having an obsession with being boring and pretty all the time. And she said that she wants Beyonce to be deep and artsy and shift culture. In the rant, she also accused Beyonce of using her capitalist advantage to score a number one with her country tracks and said other country artists had far superior music. In her words, like, in 2024, is being the first black woman to have a number one on the country charts an accomplishment when you've clearly used your capitalist advantage to smother out the currently existing black artists in country music who have been grinding for years but don't have money to send fruit plates and backstage passes to Grammy voters? Sis, I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but there's actually nothing monumental about it. Had you made a great country song, going number one should be the headline without the weird race part. Baby, just when I thought Azealia was done, she also mentioned 16 carriages from Beyonce's album and said it doesn't even make sense in context because there's no way Bay was having a pilgrim fantasy when she's from 1980s Houston, Texas, a major metropolis. She also slammed Jay-Z for over-strategizing everything and said Beyonce needed to stop with the pity party over criticism she had faced due to the new country album. And our girl Rihanna was also just chilling when she caught a stray with Azealia saying, limitations? Golly, Beyonce, you're an notoriously bad actress, LMAO, yet no one ever stops you from doing it. Challenge yourself? Girl, challenge your ego and collab with Rihanna. And then she caught another stray when Azealia said that Jay-Z managed to turn an initially very uninteresting Rihanna into one of the world's biggest stars, but he flopped with Rita and Meg. Child, it was just shot after shot and shade after shade. What I have covered is basically just half of what Azealia had to say. I'm not even sure Bay and her team have had the time to read the entire essay because there's a lot to unpack. Maybe they're going to give a classy clap back like they did with Erica, or maybe they won't. We just have to wait and see. Meanwhile, let me know what you think of Erica saying that Bay has copied her style again and whether you think Azealia was just spitting facts about Bay in the comments section below.